For seafood seekers in Ogunquit, Maine, the show starts the minute they pull their boats up alongside the lobster men at Perkins Cove. It can't get any fresher than it is in Maine. They pulled it right off the boat. You go right down into Perkins Cove and you can see everything coming right in and now it's going to end up on your plate. Sweet, succulent, fresh. That's Maine seafood. Here, the streets are lined with fresh lobster. But to get your crustacean with a side of comedy, take the trolley to Jonathan's O'Gunquit. Please welcome the Capital Stand! Dinner and a show, it's all together. It's a one-stop shop. You don't get any better than that. Owner Jonathan West loves matching the talent on the upstairs stage to the fabulous food downstairs. That passion got him a nod for best dinner and a show in all of New England. When I came in, they had a live saxophone player and a piano player, and that was lovely. It's been really unique that one place offers all of that in one location. We've had all sorts of different people, from the Indigo Girls to the Irish Rovers, to Leon Russell. I love a great show, and I've been doing it for 25 years now. But it was his love of the kitchen that made him open his father's house to his fellow Algonquins over 40 years ago. Order up, lobster! Restaurants have always been in my blood, and when I had the opportunity to start a restaurant in my family's home, it was exactly what I wanted to do. Jonathan's is a great place to crack a claw, but for a lobsterman's take on an Italian classic, try the main seafood pasta. The pasta is a great vehicle because it adds a different texture to the seafood that's unique from the rest of the dish. Jonathan boils off a bucket of lobsters, then cracks them open like a real pro. Instead of paying $30 for a special lobster fork, I paid a dollar for a regular fork, and it works great. The knuckles are the tastiest and the tenderest. So you just break it with the fork, pops right out like that. Once the lobster is fully freed, Jonathan starts the dish by searing fresh shrimp with shallots. Oh, that beautiful. We're gonna put the garlic in. Now we're gonna have not only beautiful tasting, but we're gonna have the smell. Oh, wow, you wouldn't believe it. The bounty of fresh seafood bills with in-shell clams and lobster tails. Then the tastiest and the tenderest reappear. The shells are gonna add a little flavor to the bottom of that pan. And I've eaten lobster all my life and I still want to eat these. Tomatoes straight out of Jonathan's garden make a memorable entrance. You hear them? They're just perfect. Then a deglaze with Chardonnay adds to the orchestra of flavor. That's going to take some of the seafood flavors and the garlic and the shallot flavors from the bottom of the pan and give it to you throughout the sauce. Lemon juice brightens things up. And finally, the one thing everyone wants their lobster bathed in. When you're adding butter to lobster, it's almost like milk and cookies. They just fit real natural. As it melts, it pulls up all the flavors of the seafood and the spices and herbs that you put in there. Then they settle over linguine. Bini. Fresh and delicious. And because Mainers make their own rules when it comes to seafood, adding the Romano is going to give you a contrasting flavor. And this is fresh Maine seafood pasta from Jonathan's in Agunquit, Maine. Seafood's all about freshness, and this is as fresh as it gets. Delicious. It's got a firmness and a sweetness to it that you just don't get unless it's a fresh lobster. You got everything. The whole ocean is sitting here right on a nice bed of pasta. Mmm. It's amazing. It's really fresh. It's just cooked perfectly. Just the right balance of garlic, butter, and other herbs and spices, and this is just, just fantastic. The perfect combination, lobster and butter. Clams are definitely tastier and sweeter. This is made in a bowl. We had a great meal, and now we're looking forward to seeing the play upstairs. It's just a great night. Do you come to Jonathan's more for the food or the entertainment? With the show and the beautiful meal in front of us, I still have to vote for my wife for 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer! There's so many interesting things to look at when you eat that aren't a phone. Who knew?